Yo guys, welcome back to a new PC Dark Place video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at a dual Butterfree deck. Now, this is a no-brainer brainer deck to play, bro. It's a no-brainer. Playing both Butterfrees in the format, the Triple Charge Butterfree, with the G-Max Pox Freeze Butterfree V-Max. You have to play Butterfree with Butterfree V-Max. It is a no-brainer, but this is what we're going to be doing. We're just going to get Butterfree in play, use Triple Charge, put energy onto Butterfree V-Max, and power this big boy up in one turn. Now, I know there's obviously Rillaboom that can also do the job, but... And ideally, Butterfree does work just as well because you're going to be able to get this in play in one turn through cards like Turf Field and Caterpie and Metapod's own ability. So it's not that bad. Uh, this is the list I'm playing here for the deck. Um, it is a lot of fun to play when you get the combo set up on turn one and you get that turn one triple charge. G Max Talk Speed is pretty fun. It's a pretty cool idea, you know, slowing the opponent down. Status condition them is very fun. So before you end the video, guys, question out to our smart Kevin TCG. As always, guys, if you ever looking for any PC Joe pack codes, make sure you come over at Card Kevin TCG. Of course, guys, if you are still looking for Darks of Blaze codes, you can pick them up there. Card Kevin also may or may not have in stock the Eternatus V um, bundle. It comes with the Eternatus V Max and the Eternatus V. If you can find them in stock, Card Kevin, you can get them over there. You can also get the new Pikachu and EVV codes there. Quite a few new V stuff came out over the last week. So if you're looking for any of those, pick them up over at Card Kevin TCG. And of course, you can check out their buy list too if you're looking to trade in any codes or unused unused codes or any cards you don't need. You can trade them in Karkav and they will give you some cash and in-store credit for it. So just some way to make some extra money. So yeah, if you get anything from Karkav, guys, use code LDF at the checkout. Get yourself a nice 5% discount on your purchase. It greatly supports the channel, helps yourself out, and also helps out Karkav in the process too. So shout out to Karkav, guys. Check them out. And if you get any codes in there, guys, use code LDF. So let's take a look at the dual list here. I got the dual Butterfree memes. Bye-bye, Butterfree. Butterfree no more. Now, again, Triple Charge is really cool. There's a lot of other combos we can use with Butterfree, and I'm definitely going to be looking at this card a lot more in the future because some cards got really bad when certain ways to build them up, aka stuff like Malamar left the format. So now we're going to be trying out Butterfree again at some point just to see if we can make it work with other Pokemon. But for now, we got to play with Butterfree VMAX. It just makes no sense not to combine the two together. And again, the nice thing with this Butterfree is we can get in play in one turn thanks to Metapod and Caterpie's ability where if you have Metapod in your hand, you can just straight up evolve it. And then if you have the Butterfree in your hand, you can evolve the Metapod in one turn just like Force of Giant Plants. Um, some other stuff in the deck, I'm playing the Bat and the Dedenne, obviously. Now, I am also playing Absol, which is really good against Basics, because G-Max Tox Freeze confuses and poisons your opponent. So, you're doing 160, and then, of course, you're also going to be confusing them, so they have to flip their attack. And if they don't want to risk that, we can use Absol here to make him have to retreat. I will say, I did actually get a very good first match. The first game is a very long game, but it was a really good game with the deck. I'm not going to spoil what the game is. You'll probably see it when we get there. But it was a very intense and cool match, and it really shows off the power of Absol and G-Max Tox Freeze. That's it for the Pokemon. Obviously, you can play other Grass Pokemon in here. There's a lot of Grass Pokemon you can play. One other thing you could play to help you against something, I don't know, like Decidueye. You could play this Butterfree with Panic Poison if you want to. Um, you could just throw one of these in the deck if you really wanted to. I wouldn't mind that. Um, you can all, you can even just play like four Butterfree because you're not always, you're obviously not going to use three Butterfree in one game. So you can always throw this in the deck. And I wouldn't mind that. This could be really good against Decidueye. If you want to throw in a Panic Poison or two, definitely be my guest. It can help against Decidueye. It is just an option. I guess there is this Butterfree. There's actually a lot of Butterfree. I didn't realize how many Butterfrees does this format need. Uh, but Butterfree is a baller. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, going to the items now. We got Calm, Quick Ball, for Turf Field. Again, we're trying to go turn one Butterfree, and Turf Field will get us that because it gets this Metapod or Butterfree. And we got one Reset Stamp. Again, Stamp and Marnie is really good in here to try to put the opponent's hand size nice and low when we do hit them with the G-Max Talk Freeze and make their chance of finding a switch a little bit lower. We got three switch of our own in case we don't start with Caterpie. Same thing with playing the one Air Balloon. And then we got Boss, Malana, Research Marnie. I am playing Big Charm for Butterfree VMAX. It only has 300 HP, so having that Big Charm makes it a little bit more bulkier. This could be pretty important against stuff like Eternatus. And then we got one Capture Energy. Capture Energy, ideally, you put on the Butterfree, you get a Butterfree V in play, build it up. I got two Weak Guards because Fire is very popular. And then nine Great ba Basic Grass Energy. I will say. I wouldn't I might play maybe an Orde Rod in this deck too, so you don't have to lose as much energy when you have to discard stuff. That was a problem I sometimes face with this deck, so maybe playing an Orde Rod isn't bad. Other than that, this is my Butterfree Dual Butterfree Butterfree V Max list. Very fun deck to play, very cool combo. Let's go try it out and see in action. Okay, guys, getting into our first match here with our Dual Butterfree deck. We're up against possibly a Zacian. This could be a deck using multiple Zamazenta. That's what I'm kind of scared of is Zamazenta. We can't really do anything against Zamazenta when we're playing Butterfree, so hopefully we're not playing against that. All right, we actually did get a pretty good start here. I can't remember if we're going second, though. It's the only problem. We always want to be going second with this deck, so we'll see. We do have Capture Energy, though, which is good. We can get Butterfree, we can Marnie, hopefully into the Metapod, or we could get Metapod on our top deck. 
Bronzong. Okay, they're playing a Zacian deck. They could be playing Zacian Luke Metal, which is pretty bad for us. To be honest, there's not, not much we can really do against the Luke Metal. And Zacian's already resistant to grass. Samazenta is what scares me the most. We'll see what they're playing here. They are going to quick ball. Probably going to get a Zacian V, I'm guessing. Oh, they're playing Decidueye? Okay. I'm actually fine with this. Decidueye is winnable. Um, we have Butterfree to attack. We can also just use Butterfree VMAX to confuse and poison them every turn, which actually can be annoying to Decidueye, so not too concerned about that. If they have, like, a Zamazenta, though, I mean, that's going to be a rip in the chat. But this shouldn't be a bad matchup, per se. Um, best case, they don't get energy on the Rowlet here. Nope, they got to test the Bronzor. That's fine. Big Charm getting discarded is good. Okay, um, we'll bench the Caterpie. We'll capture energy for the Butterfree here. See what we got in the deck. Okay. One Butterfree VMAX prize. We have two Butterfrees, two comms. All our turf fields are there. I don't know if I really want to give them a turf field, though. We do have the Marnie, them, unfortunately, which I don't really like. Yeah, we whiffed. We whiffed the Butterfree VMAX. RIP. Or we whiffed the Butterfree. That's a bit of a rip. All right, we're just going to pass. We're not going to... Not going to uh, do anything else. We're going to evolve the actives. I don't think they can kill me here. I don't think Bronzong can attack me. We got 50 HP. Lily's Poke Doll. That's fine. Yeah, so. Our recondition, I think, is going to be constantly just spam special conditions on the Decidueye. It might be a pretty long game. Because we're not doing that much damage to them. But we have the Butterfree to attack with. I wish I played Ornate Rod in this deck to put energy back. That could be really good. Because we might have to attack with our normal Butterfree. Ooh, a Marnie. Okay, that's actually okay. Eh, it's okay. As long as we don't get a bad hand. Got a boss. I actually don't want to get rid of the boss. I think I'm just going to play turf field and get Butterfree. I don't want to play the boss's order. We're probably going to need it if we're going to deal with the Decidueyes. Because we can use boss to take a prize on the bench. I think it's going to be pretty important to do that. So, don't think I'm going to play the boss here. Or play the research. Because I want to keep the boss. We'll see what they get. They might get Dark Tricks. Yep. So we get in the turf field. They get a free Decidueye for next turn, which isn't ideal for us. Maybe we want to get Absol down too, so this thing can't retreat. That would not be bad either. Getting Absol here would be pretty good too. Butterfree. Uh, I guess we'll bench it. Yeah, I don't like doing this, but I do get to do. We want to keep the boss, right? Choose two triple charge. Put two on this. We could actually just do Dizzy and Poison, right? We don't really need G-Max Tox Breeze per se. We can go like one here and then like... We can really sprout the energy, I think. We can just go two here. We can just gust up the Rowlet next turn with a boss. Maybe, we'll see. We can also just switch. I don't know. My opponent needs an energy here to attack me too. They could have a Marnie again, which is kind of what I'm hoping for. I mean, we don't really need the G-Max Tox Breeze. We can just use Dizzy and Poison. But the Butterfree V-Max does have the advantage of having more HP. We can always just slowly build it up, though. It's not a big deal. Okay, they got the Decidueye. Do they have an energy? I really wish we didn't have to get rid of a boss, because I would have liked to have seen an Absol. Okay, they had a switch anyways, but do they have an energy? Okay, a research. Hopefully, they don't get energy here. I don't want them to attack me, because if they don't, we can boss them up here first and get the early hit in with a Solar Beam, which is what I want to try to do. Okay, let's see what they do. Hopefully, they didn't get an energy here, so they don't attack me. That would be great. That would be great. I wish Solar Beam... No! Oh, they got an energy. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. So we just have to hit them for 70, I guess. And just try to hope from there. And they sh hopefully don't have any Scuba Net or Healing cards. Those are the only things I could really get in my way. Let's see. Are they going to stay in the active? They're probably going to attack me. I mean, they, they got to, obviously. Yeah, scoop up net. So they do play scoop up net, which is not good for us. That means they can heal when we try to hit them with special condition, but then they can't attack. This is literally just going to come down to like a dizzy and poison spam match. This is going to be a very interesting game. I wish they didn't get the energy though. Don't want them to attack me. Maybe they'll just stay in the active. I don't think they'll do that, but maybe, maybe, just maybe they will. There's like a 
slim slim chance they do oh they're benching crowbat okay now i wish i put more energy on the butterfree here because crowbat is good that's an easy well we can't knock it out in one hit but i don't know no they're doing the doll dang it they're gonna attack me that is pretty frustrating didn't want them to do that Maybe, I don't even think we really use Butterfree. It's too much energy. I think we just got to hit them with special conditions. That's going to be our ring condition. They have played one Switch. I don't know how many Switches they play. Hopefully they only play like two. I don't really, I don't really think Butterfree or Decidueye needs any that many Switching cards. Yeah, a little annoying they got the attack. We're just going to have to deal with it. Another energy, put that there. The turf field for the VMAX. We could G-Max Tox Breeze them now. But I think we just hit them for 70. We accept that we're going to get knocked out. We can boss next turn too, maybe on the Crobat. We need to get energy. Um, but I don't know. We have Malon in the deck too to heal. That could be pretty good. I don't think we can attack with Butterfreeze anymore. It just doesn't seem like it's possible. If only they didn't get the attack off, because we could just hit them for 70 twice. But now we just got to hit them with the G-Max Tox Breeze and... Spam special conditions on them. That's going to be a ring condition. If they have like a training court, that can be an issue. We might want to save our turf fields if they have a training court because they could infinitely loop energy. Then they can just constantly keep retreating. But our ring condition is to keep putting them with status, keep affecting them with status conditions. That's how we're going to try to win this. We just keep hitting them with status conditions and hope for the best. I guess we do need to evolve this Caterpie. We'll see what they do here. Probably just going to knock me out. Marnie? That's fine. We keep our boss, which is good. There's some energy. We got a big charm too. That's pretty decent. This hand is okay. I wish it was a little bit better though. Um, obviously, we need to get a supporter. We have a Malolana hopefully somewhere in the deck. I don't know if it's prized or not. Uh, but Malolana is going to be really good. Oh, they got a big charm on, bro. Are you kidding me? So now they're even tanky here. Oh my gosh. Well, that's not good. Well, here comes the fun part of playing this deck. We just spam them with status conditions. And hope for the best. Now let's get Metapod. Big charm this, I guess. We can Marty them now. Which I guess we'll do. Just try to keep digging. I think at this point I want to get boss or like something. Okay, never mind, we didn't get it. I was hoping we get Malon or like a boss or something. Here we go, G-Max Toxbury. Doing no damage, but we are confusing and poisoning them, which is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I wish Absol made it work for evolutions. That would make this matchup a lot easier. So this is going to be a very slow grind. I wish we had, like, Toxic Croaker, Parasect or something. We'll see. Okay, there's a doll coming down. Those dolls are a little annoying. They can retreat in the doll. And then put the doll back in the deck. I guess. Yeah, we're just going to spam conditions on them. Just spam the status conditions. They have to retreat. They could, I mean, we'll see how many switches they have. But they, they scoop up net is also fine because, oh, they had a switch in their hand, bro. Stop it. Cut it out. How many switches this guy got? He's got to only have two. There's no way. There's no way this guy plays any more than two switch. I can't imagine he plays more than two switch. But we can run him out of energy maybe with just spamming G-Max Tox Breeze. Or even just dizzying wind. Or dizzying poison, which we can also do. We'll see what they do. But I want to use the 150 damage because it does more damage, right? Against Crobat, okay. <sighs> what do we draw? Quick ball. Malon is in the deck. There you go, it is there. Do we want to bench Absol? Is it worth it to put this in play? It might be. There might be a scenario where this can come in handy. I guess. I don't know if that was a good idea or not. I think it was. In my humble opinion. So we just retreat into Dizzy and Poison? No, we just G-Max Tox Breeze. I don't want to use the other Butterfree. We also have Opt X to reset stamp. But yeah, I think we're just going to keep spamming those special conditions and hoping for the best. We do need to get Malolana though at some point so we can heal the Butterfree. That would be great. How much energy have they played? Just five? Got to assume they play no more than maybe 10 energy. They haven't played their ornate rod yet, though, which is a bit of... No, they have. Okay. They played the rod. That's good. That's good. And they're wasting an energy on the other Decidueye. Why are they doing that? They should only be using one Decidueye. I mean, I know we're going to switch to dish them out of the game, but still. 
see what they do here. Let's see what they do. They can retreat. I'm I'm really hoping there won't be more. I don't I like I don't see why they would play more than two switch. Like Sidewai doesn't really need to play that many switching cards. It really doesn't. So Oh, that's a huge swing in our favor. Nice. Okay, I was gonna say. They shouldn't have that many switching cards, and it looks like they didn't. We kill a little bit of the butterfree, we just don't have the energy to do so. There's quick ball. It's Marnie. I guess maybe we should have actually kept that Butterfree. Boss? Hmm. Still can't find our, uh... Our good old friend, uh... Can't find the Malana anywhere. Well, here we go. G-Max Toxbreeze once again. Just keep hitting them in special conditions. If I had an air balloon here, I would have retreated an Absalom and put the air balloon on it. Actually, no, I wouldn't have. We just stay in the active, I think. They could retreat if they want, but again, we can, might run them out of energy here. That's how we're going to try to win this. I mean, they could also keep flipping and getting... They could get heads multiple times in a row. That would be really bad. But uh, do they want to? Okay, another Aurora gets played. They're wasting a lot of energy here. That is th three Auroras down? They have eight energy in play, or six, sorry. Okay, they hit heads finally. Rip. Hmm. They could be out of energy. We could try to boss the Crobat up too. Nah, I doubt that'll work. I don't think boss and Crobat will do anything. Might just have, I don't want to research though. I think we just keep doing G-Max Tox Breeze. Just keep doing our thing. We could run them out of energy. We could just try to boss the Crobat up. I gotta assume they have only they only got two switch. They might be out of energy too very soon. They probably have like a couple grass left. A, let's go. All right, huge swing in our favor. This thing's actually gonna get KO'd soon. Maybe they're sitting on a scoop up net though. Okay, I don't need that many bosses in my hand. Stop giving me all these bosses orders. Don't want to waste too many searching cards in case we need to do like Crobat or Dedenne. It might come in handy. We really need to find this Malana though, ASAP. We should play Caitlyn Cynthia too, so we can have double. If we had double Malana, I think this would be a lot easier on us. So they have the option to retreat if they want. I mean, maybe we can knock them out with like a Caterpie. If they have 10 HP left, somehow we can boss them up and knock them out with Caterpie. That would be hilarious, but that actually could be something we could maybe do. Okay, there's Bronzor. I really wish I knew how much energy they played. If I know how, if I knew how much energy they had, I think we'd be good because they are down one. They're down seven energy. We'll see what happens here. They put Bronzo. I don't think they're gonna put it in play. Obviously, they have no need. They have no reason to. Maybe my game plan might honestly just have to be maybe they run out of energy and then I boss Crobat and trap it in the active. That might have to be my game plan to win this. As long as they don't have a second switch or Malana, then maybe we should be good to trap the Crobat in the active spot. All right. Hopefully they don't get heads on splitting arrow here. They want their retreat into something. Or maybe, I don't know. I really don't want them. They could also just retreat in the other Decidueye if they want. They have three built up. Like they could go retreat, 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 but we keep hitting them with status conditions. There's not much they can do about that. They just can't deal with all these status conditions. All right, what are they doing? They're not gonna do anything. How much HP do they have? 30? We drew a switch. We could retreat into, uh, it doesn't matter. We still have 90 HP left. Keep doing G-Max Tox Breeze. If 20 HP, if we had an option to go ram here, that'd be great. But I don't think we want to knock out the decision. I think we just want them to just keep having a flip to attack or retreat. The big charms are definitely annoying though. Hey, let's go. We actually took them out. Wow. Let's go. We got a prize. What's it going to be? A switch? Yeah, I didn't think we, I don't think there's anything prize that's too relevant. We have the option of boss here too, which is pretty good. I'm going to boss up the decision here. Go right back where we need. I wish we had an energy though. I would have attacked with this Butterfree. But whatever. I mean, they haven't played a boss yet, I guess. Maybe they could always boss me. Yeah, we just stay in the active. Just keep hitting them. We're going to try to save our last boss though for that Crobat. 
If there is even a slight chance we can deck them out, we can try to just trap the Crobat in the active spot. I'm assuming they still have multiple energy left. They played four Auroras. Or three, sorry. Three Auroras. Three Grass, one Capture. So, they still have to have a few energy left in the deck. Okay, but well, we are getting lucky here. There's the Malana. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna play it. Okay. Big swing in the game. Big swing in the game. If only their big charm wasn't on, this thing would have been KO'd by now. Alright, now what are they gonna do? I mean, if they want to retreat, they can, but that Malana there was huge. No, they finally got heads rip. It was bound to happen at some point, I guess. It was bound to happen at some point. We have 140 HP. We still have a lot of HP left. Let's keep doing G-Max Tox Breeze. They have 10 HP, bro. 10 HP. So close. So close. All right, now what do they have? What do they got? What are they doing? What is their plan? Okay, wow. I mean, I don't know why they're retreating, but hey, I ain't complaining, bro. This is, I think we're gonna win this at this point. It's not look good for my opponent. Let's just leave it at that. So we can boss the other Decidueye up. Which I think I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm getting spammed right now. Call, okay. Right. Okay, let's just make more noise. What am I doing though? Do I wanna boss with the Decidueye? Or should I just knock out the doll? I think we boss it a situation. I mean, that, there goes that Crobat play, but I mean, at this point, my opponent might just lose to me constantly poisoning them. They have less cards than me, too, so. And we have, Mar we have a Marnie left. I don't know if it's prized, though, but we could just keep doing this. Might as well. Again, I gotta assume they're out of Switch. I, I can't imagine they're playing any more than two Switch. I just don't see why a Decidueye deck would play any more than two Switching cards. Or two Switch. Especially with Scoop of Net. Okay, let's see what they do see what they do here okay they're just they're really trying to knock me out yeah let's see if we get energy so i'm gonna there's, i want to go into the butterfree there we go let's go double butterfree like my other game plan really if i was just building up this butterfree it'd be better but the problem is like because they had all those decisions built up in the boss they could always really, they could always just boss up this butterfree to try to build it up that's why i wasn't like like, looking at it right now, if I did build up the other Butterfree with Triple Charge, I would have had a good attacker. But because my opponent had all those Stitchwise and they probably had a boss somewhere in their deck still, it's like no reason to. But wow, we are getting lucky with these coin flips. They have like 40 HP. That's really good. Yeah, we're just, we're probably going to win this. <laughs> it's not looking good for my opponent. I mean, they still have another Rowlet in the deck. They have... Yeah, they have one Rowlet left, and they, as long as they don't have any Rod. Okay, they finally got Heads. They finally got the Heads. This Butterfree is gonna, maybe if this Butterfree gets knocked out, that's like bad news. There's a Marnie. We'll save that. We'll just G-Max Tox Breeze them again. We have our Stamp still, right? Yeah, we can always Stamp them too. That could be how we win. We can Stamp them out of the game. Ooh, they're gonna net the Decidueye, but once again, I gotta imagine they are low on energy. They have played seven of their energy so far. We don't have any boss left, so the option to boss up the Rowlet is no longer available to us, which is a problem. That's fine. Okay, they do have another energy. How much HP? 180. So we have two hits from Feather. I don't know. I mean, that was a pretty big swing for them, having that. We could Marnie them here. We could hit them with a Marnie. If we Marnie them, there's a chance they don't get rare candy Decidueye. But they've only played three. Well, they've played three candies. Yeah, Marnie, and act, Marnie might actually be huge here. They might not get the rare candy Decidueye if we do it. Nah, we'll, we'll wait. We'll just, we'll just knock out the active... This gives them access to Rosa, but then they don't have the doll to put back in their deck. I don't really mind knocking this out. There's one last Pokemon they have to work with, too. 
I really wish we had more heals, though. I wish we had one more Malon in the deck. I wish we played, like, Milotic or something. Just, that would be... If we had Milotic, we would have won this a long time ago. Okay, there's the Rare Candy. That's their last one, though. Do they have an energy? How much... Like, they they should be low on... This should be, like, their second last energy, honestly. This, this next energy they play here, this should be their second last energy. And this will really just come down to whether or not they get Hedgehogs played in Arrow, I guess. They have played a lot of energy. Yep, there's the Rosa. Three, four... They played eight energy. I gotta imagine they're like low on energy. They gotta maybe have like two left. They don't get energy, so it's in their hand. So that means they are very low on energy here because they didn't get energy out of the deck. Well played. Are they out of energy? We let's go! Let's go, let's go, let's go. That was hype, bro. That was hype. That is how you beat them, bro. Let's go. I do wish we had more heals. That maybe would have swung things a bit better for us. But that is how you do it. Alright, we get to open up a pack too, which is pretty good. Um, let's see what we get out of this pack. Open up a pack for the victory. Because why not? Let's see what we pull. Let's see what we pull. If <laughs> that was that was a great game. I mean, Butterfree just special conditions. We didn't even need the main attacking Butterfree. Ooh, Blaziken? That's not bad actually. Unfortunately, this card will never work because, you know. ADP. An ADP less format, maybe this card can shine because it has a very good dual typing. Alright guys, getting into our next match with Dual Butterfree. Getting a nice victorious win over Decidueye there makes me feel pretty good. Now I don't want to play against any more Decidueye deck. So I'm playing against a water deck. Probably going to be an Inteleon deck. Alright, we do lose the coin flip here. Which is good, right? We want to go second, which is what's happening. And we have a very good starting here. We actually have the turn one Butterfree. Turn one Butterfree and Butterfree V, which is pretty good. We'll see what they're playing. It might be in an Inteleon VMAX deck. We'll see at this point. I mean, that game was pretty good, so I don't even care what we play against this point. So that was a pretty awesome first game. So we'll see what they're playing. Okay, it might be the Mewtwo deck, actually, because they have Cherish Ball. Inteleon doesn't play Cherish Ball. It might be the Mewtwo Frostmoth deck that's been getting some attention recently. There's a Quick Ball, Game of Water. But that Mewtwo matchup shouldn't be that bad. They can one-shot me, which is a problem, but we do have the option to status condition them, and I don't know how many switches they really play. We'll see. It looks like they're dead changing here, too. And they attach to Snom. Okay, that's good. That means they can't attach to Mewtwo. And they get rid of a Frostmaw. That's pretty good. Yeah, they are playing the Mewtwo deck. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. This might come down to how many switching cards they play. What am I actually getting Absol here to lock the Dedenne in the active? That could be really good for us. Make him waste an air balloon. Yeah, what am I getting Absol here if we can pull it off? Let's see, we draw. Ugh, I don't want energy, bro. Stop it. What I really want is a supporter that I can play to help me out here. So, yeah, we can go. Do we have Absol? Okay, it's not even in the deck. Okay, well, never mind. Hmm. We could just go Crobat. Hmm. Yeah, we'll do... Do we want to do Crobat? Yeah, we'll do Crobat. We have a Pokecom in our hand. I'm gonna Crobat. We need to get, like, a support or something. I don't want to have a dead hand after this. Okay. That's fine. We could save the research for next turn, too, I think. Let's get the Butterfree. Don't want to get rid of too much energy. So let's go triple charge here. Put three energy onto the Butterfree. And we're chilling. All right, cool. So next turn, we'll see what happens. Absol Beam Prize might be a little shaky. We might need its ability to help lock them out from being able to do switch combos. But this should be fine. This should be fine. This matchup really could come down to whether or not they get a lot of heads on their coin flips, though, from their status condition. So that is something that I'm also worried about here. Ooh, they're going to Marnie me. That was a decent hand, so that's fine. Okay, we got another Marnie. Hopefully they don't bump my stadium. We'll see. Well, I guess we have another turf field. They also still need to get a water Pokemon in the discard pile to even attack with. They currently have nothing in the discard pile they can attack with. And if they don't, we're gonna be knocking them out with a butt. We're gonna take out the Dedenne with a Butterfree VMAX, which that means we knock out Mewtwo and then Frostmoth to win the game. And they've already played two Dedennes from their deck so far, so there's a chance they might not even get a discard off here to get Starmie or Blastoise in the discard pile, which is good. I do wish we had a boss right now. I guess we can dead a change, try to get a boss's order here and boss up this Mewtwo. And then try to just hit it now, which I think could give us a big advantage here. We could also try to knock out this Frost Moth. Okay, an Energy Retrieval? 
They're getting ready for that Blastoise play, which makes sense. So knocking out the Dedenne might actually be really risky. Well, as long as this thing saves play, we can always just build another Butterfree. Ooh, Cherish Ball. They're gonna get a third Dedenne, it looks like. Do they have it in the deck? Do they have the third Dedenne? If not, they might have to just get Blastoise. If they don't have the third Dedenne here, this is really good for us. If they do, I might have to just do my own Dede change and try to get a uh, boss's order. We'll see. They might not have the Dedenne, though. If they don't have the Dedenne, that's really good. So then they're going to be in top deck mode. They don't have it. Okay, cool. So yeah, we can go for the knockout then, I guess. We're not going to play the Marnie, though, because we don't want to give them a free new hand. We're going to keep them in top deck mode and see where that takes us. We're gonna, we're definitely going to Dede change, too. I guess who we draw. Reset. Ooh. Not a great top deck. I kind of want to hold that reset stamp for later. But whatever. We got to get to get rid of it. We got to get rid of it. Dead a change. Get either a boss or another Butterfree with an energy. Okay, well, we got the we got the boss. We didn't get the Butterfree energy, though, unfortunately. We did get the Butterfree. We'll put it in play, I guess, just to have it in play. We're going to boss up the Mewtwo here. We could also knock out the Frost Moth, take three energy off the board. We could also just knock out the active. Save the boss for next turn. We can knock out... Okay, let's just knock them out. We'll save the boss. They're in top deck mode. I'm just going to pray they don't draw anything here. We knock out the active. We can boss up the other day and knock that out. There's Absol. That's huge. Marnie. Okay. Let's see if they draw anything here. If they draw a research, bro, I'm done. Come on. This is all banking on it. Okay, Cherish Ball. That could get them a Dedenne, but they would have got it last turn. So I assume... Yeah, they don't have it. Okay, good. So we're gonna knock another Dedenne, I guess. We're just gonna knock out both Dedennes here. Okay, do we really need to, though? Maybe we don't have to. Maybe we should just boss with the Mewtwo. Yeah, let's just boss with the Mewtwo. We, maybe we don't need to. Maybe we don't need to knock out the Dedenne. Or they're gonna give me the Dedenne knockout. Okay, well, that works, too. And right, let's bench Absol. Play this. And we will... Knock out the Dedenne? Nah, we're gonna boss the Mewtwo. We're gonna make it hard on them, boss the Mewtwo up now. Just in case something happens. I think we just wanna be, just just to be careful. And the Mewtwo stays trapped because we have the Absol, right? They stay trapped in the active spot. They can't retreat right now because Absol's in play blocking them. And then what we do, they retreat. We boss them back up, knock it out. But I don't want to because then we can save our last boss. Oh, they drew an air balloon. That can buy him an extra turn. So we can knock out the Mewtwo again. Or we just knock out whatever they bring in. And then finish the Mewtwo off later. That should be fine. Do still want energy for this guy. No. Okay, they concede. All right. Butterfree VMAX. We got lucky they were in top deck mode there. But we had control. Once we got the boss, we had the control ability to bring in Mewtwo. And ideally, had they really gotten a setup there after... Um, after their... If they, if they did Cherish Ball there for that third Dedenne, we probably still would have went boss in the Mewtwo... Um, but since they're top deck mode, we kind of toyed around with them a little bit. But we probably would have bossed the Mewtwo, try to hit them with the status condition, slow them down a little bit to lock them a bit. Um, but that'll be it for the video just on the deck today. I got some things I need to today, so I don't really have that much time to make a video. I got to make some other videos for Patreon, and I got to get ready for the Hexer tournament tonight. But uh, that will be it for the video, guys, on the dual Butterfree deck. It's a cool concept using two Butterfrees to work together. It's an idea that you just got to try out, bro. You, you got to play a dual Butterfree deck. You have to. It, it, it makes no sense not to do a video on this deck. Um, but that'll be it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy today's Peace Show video, guys, and that pretty cool win on the Decidueye deck, uh, leave a like on the video and subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me in reaching 11k subs. We actually just hit 10.2k subs. So thank you guys for that. Yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, thanks for watching. Check out Carcraft and TCG down below. Make sure you use code LDF if you pick up any codes over there. Um, you guys can also check out my Patreon down below. Again, if you want to play $2 a month for exclusive content, check it out. Uh, follow me on Twitter, by the way. I'm running a giveaway on there. The winners are going to be done on Friday, but there are going to be five more winners. You just got to follow, retweet, and like the tweet in order to be entered in the giveaway when I draw the winners. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.